Hey everyone, I'm glad you're here with a new tutorial series, Car Physics in Unity. My intention is to deeply go over car physics and implement a car that is drivable inside Unity. However, the point is that you learn car physics that later on you will be able to make not only semi-realistic cars but also arcade cars that can fit your project style. Now there are plenty of car tutorials in internet. So why do I bother and make another one? Well, I have seen other car tutorials, but they were missing one important part. They made a car which could start going, brake, had headlights and even had engine and sleeping sound. But it was not stable for driving, it couldn't turn easily, the car did not go straight and it even had a lot of slipping and could turn upside down like a piece of cake. And to show you the problems, I have set up a simple car in here. There are four wheel colliders and I attached a simple script to the car. Let's take a look at car script. We have the wheels, torque and turning angle. In update, if I press W, I apply torque, otherwise the torque should be zero. If I press else, I apply brake, and else I make the brake torque zero. If D key is down, I turn right, else if A key is down, I turn left. And at last, if no key is down, I reset this zero angel. There's an additional script here too. It's called sleep, and it's responsible to play a sleeping sound when the wheels are sleeping. Okay, now inside your D, Play the game and let's go ahead and see what problems you are going to have. Now, I press W and the first thing you will notice is that the tires, all of them, start slipping. Look. Now, you see how the Now, stop. And now I press W. And now I release it, and you can see the car is still accelerating, and I will explain this later in the videos. And even when I'm braking, we are getting a lot of sleep, and the other things to show you is now I want to turn, it's very slippery. are spinning and it causes the car to go ahead. So these are the problems we are getting. In the next video we will learn about car forward motion. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.